Alrighty. Oh, there we go. Jet, stay. Stay, camera phone, stay. Don't move. Hi, how you doing? I would like to point out some things. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> oh, nice. That started. There's several laws in the United States that are in fact treason. I've been as far away as Oklahoma and I've been to four or five different states. In Oklahoma, there's one law that's archaic and hadn't been annulled. Whether it's enforced or not is irrelevant. The fact that it exists is the treasonous part. This law states that a man cannot have a woman sitting in his lap, regardless of marital status, whether they're in public or in the privacy of their own homes, without a pillow between them. That is fucking stupid. I mean, if a dude wants to get his jollies off having his wife sit in his lap, that's his unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness as he so sees fit to execute it. <clears throat> Especially in the privacy of his own home. The fact that that law exists and it hadn't been erased, well, last time I checked, I hadn't checked in about six years. So, it may have been changed, it may have been erased, but the fact that it even existed in the first place, that's treason. As to the government violating any individual's unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness right there, that's treason. Here in uh, Alabama, sodomy used to be illegal. Hey, if a dude wants to fuck another dude or his wife in the ass, that's their fucking prerogative. The fact that that law even existed is a violation of that man and that woman or that man and that man's unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness right there. And at the end of this spiel and these examples, I'll explain how all three of the mentioned are not all of the unalienable rights all in the nutshell. Those are just three of the unalienable rights. I'll explain how all three of those are actually the exact same damn thing. They're just broken down into subsectional categories like a circle and then this other one's the, a little spot here inside the larger hole. I'll explain that. There's another law in Alabama, the seatbelt law. If I so see fit or if anyone else so sees fit to endanger their life so long as they're not endangering the life of another, that's their fucking prerogative. That's their unalienable right to their own life. Now the fact that that law exists is fucking treason. Yeah, it's fucking common sense to protect yourself. I get it. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. But the fact that there's a law in effect for that particular thing is treason in itself. If somebody wants to endanger their life, that's their fucking prerogative, not your fucking responsibility or the government's to tell them what the fuck to do. <clears throat> now that those examples are out of the way, and I can point to some really stupid ones in New York, yeah, in fact, I fucking will. I don't know if this one's been changed. It's illegal to spit on the sidewalk. That's common fucking sense. You don't spit or someone else is going to be stepping their feet. With or without gum. With or without uh, whatever you're spitting out. It's just common fucking sense. It's courtesy and it's respect. The fact that there's a law against it means a great deal of things. But first and foremost, it is a treason. If somebody wants to go spit, that's their fucking prerogative. But, yeah, they shouldn't be fucking spitting on the sidewalk because that's just uh, fucking courtesy 
self-control, respect, and discipline right there. To have the self-control and the respect enough not to be a complete fucking idiot. But the fact that the law exists in the first place, whether or not it's been changed or annulled, is a treason right there. Now, let me explain, as I said I would, the three mentioned unalienable rights in the Declaration of Independence. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness is your civil liberty. Liberty. That's uh, part of your fucking life now, isn't it? So, it's a tear. One is up underneath the other. And, well, technically it's stair steps with life being the base. Like a pyramid. And then your liberty's on top of that, and then your pursuit of happiness is on top of that. And the reason they get smaller is because life is a very broad thing. As long as you're not endangering someone else's life, do whatever the fuck you want. Liberty's more confined. It's more strict, more rigid. That's why it's smaller on top of life. And then pursuit of happiness. Well, you, you can't claim that your pursuit of happiness is going off and killing other people because you're directly violating their unalienable right to their own fucking life. That's how these three mentioned unalienable rights were set up. That's how they function. And the American government is violating them constantly. I've actually talked to a man who was in jail for sodomy against his wife. If he wants to fuck her in the ass and she wants to get fucked in the ass, that's their prerogative to exercise their unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. The fact that the cops arrested him means that the cops committed treason. The fact that the, the fucking local government kept them incarcerated, well kept the dude incarcerated. That's treason. I don't give a fuck about your social stigmas and uh, whatever you think that your social justice faggotry is worth. I'm stating the truth. I don't give a fuck about anyone's opinion. If you don't like it, fuck off. I don't care. But there's the truth. United States government commits treason. How many fucking citizens are there? And how many fucking different laws are there that violate those unalienable rights? I don't know, I mentioned four right there. Five, actually. So how many citizens are there? And these laws are in effect uh, at the local, the state, and the federal level. Some of them are just state. Either way, it's fucking treason. So it blanket covers the whole fucking United States just because one state has this stupid bullshit law that should not exist. The reason I'm saying this is because I'm very pissed off and I'm tired of all the bullshit. I'm tired of society ripping itself the fuck apart. I'm tired of uh, the government being a fucking slave master and slave enslaving and either they're fucking enslaving everybody or it's a fucking mafia style racket racketeering profiteering and fucking extortion of everyone paying you fucking money just because they're alive that's that's not life insurance that's that's not taxes, that's fucking racketeering and profiteering. So, no matter which way you look at it, and both are true, actually, the United States government is just a criminal organization that is committing treason on a fucking daily, hourly, secondly basis. Because of all this stupid bullshit. Society is ripping itself the fuck apart. What the fuck is wrong with everybody? I'm tired of seeing it. I want everybody to stop fucking ripping each other and themselves apart. 
It just makes everyone look fucking stupid. Well, till next time.